What's going on guys, back with another video, and today this video will um, teach you and tell you how to disable Windows Defender or antivirus on your computer forever. Now um, Windows, here's, here's just before we get started, here's a lot of reasons to disable Windows Defender. Um, it constantly, um, when you're, whenever you're downloading something or you're opening your file explorer, it always scans the same files over and over again. That um that it wears down it wears down your um your hard drive it wears down your SSD if you have one it um it takes um CPU usage and it overall slows your computer down so um yeah there's a lot of reasons why to turn it off and that's probably why you're here so let's just get started so um yeah so if you want to disable it go into Windows Security here's one of the ways you can disable it, but the thing with Windows is it makes it a pretty hard to disable it. But um, all right, so you go into Virus and Threat Protection, uh, Manage Settings, and um, turn off Real Time Protection. Now this isn't just going to be it, as you can see, this thing is managed by my by your administrator. I disabled it like forever. All right, so make sure to turn that off temporarily. Turn off Cloud and turn off that and turn off tamper if you have tamper on it this is not going to work as um it won't allow you to change the important security features and exclusions so go into your exclusions and you're going to see add or remove items that you want to exclude from microsoft defender antivirus scans all right so add exclusion exclusion go into file and what you do is you have to go into your os your os drive um go into program files go into windows defender and you're going to see msmp egg is basically the, um, the exe which um, microsoft defender uses is or it's called um antibell execution so what you do is um just click open voila um this is not it though, um, but yeah, this disables the antebell um, of eviction, which also was another AXC that runs. That's really annoying. So there you go. That's one um, one part to disable it. Now um, close up and go into your registry editor um, or as administrator, and you're gonna see a lot of folders in here. So that's actually just make it where you would see so um click on local machine go on to system and or actually no go into software so yeah now you're going to see a place where this was like folders go into hke local machine go into system or actually no go into software sorry about that and you're going to see policies and then Microsoft's and then you will see the beloved Windows Defender open that now what you have to do is so all you're gonna see is policy manager you have to make a new folder or key or whatever you call it so click on Windows Defender click on new click on key name it real time protection name it real time protection I've already did so I'm gonna just, just delete what I just did and um, when you're on click on that new folder you just made and you're gonna see this that it's not there yet for you um, so basically make a D word 32 bit value and name it disable real time monitoring And then when you make that, modify it, put the da value data to one. And then click on that and voila, restart your system. Or actually, it should, it should take effect right away. But yeah, restart your system and you should never see it again. So yeah, guys, we got you doing. Um, the only way you would see it again is if Windows doesn't update, which patches this. Which, that's the thing that Windows does, is Windows, for some reason, really hates when you disable it. I think it's because they take your folder's datas and 
I don't know, but I feel Windows Defender is kind of sketchy in ways that are not good. So, um, yeah, that's all I'll stay with. See you.